I am here at Garvey's Bar and Restaurant, one of the sponsors of the club, where I believe there is some strange activity happening today, just before the come down. We're now just going to pop into the kitchen to have a few words with Chef Lee. I've just tiptoed into Chef Lee's kitchen. It appears there's a bit of cheating going on. Chef Lee, a few words out there, Chef. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk. Oh, oh Mommy, we're caught! I'll go after them. I'm joined here now with Geraldine and Damien Rox's two young sons. Boys, can you tell me what you're doing here on the evening of Come Down With Me? Ma sent to me collect a load of takeaway dinners for her Come Down With Me. A load of takeaway dinners for the Come Down With Me? Interesting. Any other words? We've been here for ages. I'm starving. The poor child is starving. Waiting ages. Well, it looks like there's a little bit of um, fiddling going on with the sounds of things. And tell me this. Why has your mother sent you down here now to pick up the dinners? Have you ever tasted my mum's cooking? Well, really crisps. I did. Give me a few more. I'm having a buffet. Oh yeah. Do you have any buck fats? No, sorry, love. We're much too too lazy. Huh. I'll just go to Casey's. I'm joined here now by barman Christopher here at Garvey's Bar. Christopher, can you tell me was there any unusual activity happening here today in the bar? Well, there has been a lot of takeaway that was ordered today. A strange of the An awful lot of takeaway dinners. Can you tell us who has been ordering the takeaway dinners? And you've got Aidan Murphy there with name name takeaway dinner. Aidan Murphy? Yeah, Rory and Henry Donnelly with eight. Rory and Henry Donnelly, eight takeaway dinners. Yeah, and then you've Barry and Fiona Campbell with 15 takeaway dinners. Oh, wait, I know that one has been cancelled. Fiona said something about maybe making pot noodles because there's less washing up. Mm. And there you have Magellan McCann with 12. Well, there you have it, everyone. It looks like Garvey's will be hosting Come Down With Me this evening. The entertainment this evening now at the club will be performed by our very own musician and Silver Bridge's answer to Tom Jones, Mr. Pat Casey. So, ladies, get ready to throw your knickers at him later on. Following that will be the dish go by Snoopy Snoopy Sniff Sniff, a.k.a. DJ Sniffer. Can't wait to hit the dance floor. I'm joined here now in Garvey's Bar with local celebrity and musician Pat Casey. Pat, can you tell us what time you're performing at tonight at the club? And Pat, will you be getting us all to rock me mama like a wagon wheel? Will you be getting us to hit the diff? And will you be getting us to hold on to your hat, Pat? <laughs> I haven't been asked to perform tonight. Well, that's a little bit awkward. Should we delete that bit? So, um, Pat, moving on, can you tell me who has invited you to come dine with them this evening? I'm very disappointed nobody has invited me. I'm very surprised Joanne Murphy hasn't even mentioned it to me. Joanne, you're disappointed. Oh, this is a very sad moment for us now here, Pat. So if anyone out there has an empty chair at their table this evening, our own Pat will literally sing for his supper. Other Pat, when I look at you from this angle, you don't look like a man that was ever starved for too long. I'm joined here now in Garvey's bar, but judging by the shirt, Silverbridge's very own answer to Gok One, Mr. Jim Murphy. Hey Jim, he wants to know, do you want your steak medium or better? Medium rather. Oh, it looks like Jim's going to have a steak before they come down with me. I don't blame you, Jim. Jim's going to his daughter Caroline's for the buffet. And Jim, between yourself and myself, a buffet wouldn't fill a hole in your false tooth. So Jim, have you any other words of advice for us here? Have a good day, anyway. Well, there are fierce, great words of encouragement from Jim Murphy. Oh, oh Anthony's trying to get me drunk, Anthony. Well, I've had a fierce good time here in Garvey's bar and restaurant. So here's to everyone tonight at the celebrity Come Dine With Me from all of us here in Garvey's. 
Cheers, everyone. And one, two, three, down the hatch. Well, that will put hairs on my chest. <laughs> I'm here now at Casey's You're a Spare in Cross Midlin, one of the other main sponsors of the club. Now, I'm finally joined by my fellow roving reporter, Regina. Regina. Rosie. Can you tell us where you've been all afternoon? You're very flushed looking in the cheeks, and I believe she was with Nicholas Trainer, the treasurer of the club. Well, we were just trying to find his treasure. Okay. Um, Okay, moving swiftly on, and um, I believe there's some hosts inside. Will we go in? Ah, oh, the fair night, fair melons. Oh. <coughs> Hi there. So we're inside down Casey, so we are. We've spotted some of the hosts it's down here there. doing some of the shopping, so we're going to go and give them a wave to follow. Check Come on, us. Check your back. Come down just this way, we've just spotted a little old lady here. Now check that out. Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like these? Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like these? Excuse me, madam, excuse me. Stop just for a second. Now we've just caught up with this little old dear here beside me in the aisle. Old? Old? Well, I've an older vintage. You're like a fine sure, wine. Sure. Make sure she's sure. like a cheese, like a cheddar. Could you tell us all now what your name is? Agnes. Agnes. Great to meet you, Agnes. Agnes, you're cooking tonight. Can you tell us, explain what's in your trolley here? Well, no, did you never see cabbage before? <laughs> and spots. Mm -hmm. And this lad here is a, a, a big, big juicy one. And um, I still have to go over to get me boiling belly bacon. Oh, is that not the hair in that belly bacon? It can be, but it's cheaper with the hair on. And then the girls down on the beauty on the lawn said that they wax it for me green. Lovely. Yeah. And do you know the way things that goes on the belly? Mm -hmm. You know? Do you know? There's a good many of them on the belly. What's wrong with oh. you? No, I'm not talking about yours. It's on the, it's on the pig's belly. And I'm going to get them taken off. Nicely, I'm going to marinate them in mm. sweet and sour, mm. and when they're nice and soft, I'm going to drizzle them with creme fraiche and put a cocktail mm. stick into each one of them. And oh, God forgive you. Mm. What? God forgive you. Mm. And are you having many tonight for this dinner? Twelve. Just Twelve. Twelve lucky people are going to have this delight. And what about the cabbage? Should we be careful then, things more than that? Enough of the belly. Oh, there should be there enough for them with the belly. Yeah, no, and I'm getting after that, they're going to get instead of after dinner, well, I'm going to get them tabioca and mm. gooseberries. Mm. Two gooseberries. It's just like being so back at school. It's very vintage. The gooseberry, yeah, keeping it cream. The gooseberry, you can have to wash it all out of them, you know, that they're not be rolling about them out of constipation. Yeah. And you see the cabbage? I do. Instead yeah. of after dinner mince, I'm going for the redness because. It's trying to get the wind, the cabbage, and instead of putting it down, the rennies so will take it up. You should give some hand to John Murphy, because I hear he's following that product. Who would John Murphy be? Oh, I don't know who he is. From. I don't know who he is, but listen, let me tell you, I, the rennies the will so take it up instead of down, because the ones that's coming to my, to my dinner, it's very windy, and they cause an awful lot of damage more than Raymond, Raymond, Raymond Garvey's herd of cows for those who lay So I want to get it up instead of down. Well, oh, whoever's yes. eating at your table tonight are in for a real treat of entertainment. Well, they yeah, are lucky. And you know you're invited yourself if you can't. Do you know, I think we've had an invitation. You have indeed. And this, this, is this a lady or a gentleman? No. Well, I could never! <laughs> Regina go. Has anyone seen Regina? Where is she? Regina, what are you doing in this aisle? Oh, Barry Campbell and Florence want me to get a few more pot noodles for tonight. Oh, but no, do you know something that I think you should get? I saw this and I think Barry would love it. The naked, naked noodle. noodle. He likes through the naked chef as far as I've heard sometimes. Mm. Great. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's 15 each. I know that Fiona Campbell has 15. Yes, that's not That's plenty, that's plenty. plenty. Yeah, plenty. Oh, here's Mary McCann. Oh. I see Mary in the background. How are you, Mary? 
No, he said, you're trolley up to me. He said, who you are? Not you. No, 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 Oh my god, I'm so bored. Why don't we go home? I know. Oh, I'm stealing this. I'm home. What? Girls, where's the box at? Uh, can you not read? Oh crap, I'm going to have to send somebody to Donnelly's. Oh, here's Dr. Flea. We need to have oh, some Dr. Dr. Flea, Dr. Flea, wait up. Wait up, Dr. Flea. Uh, on Monday, would you be able to keep it free from the come down with me? We think maybe there'll be a few dicky tummies. Well, I'll keep one in the morning for you. Great, you're a great man, Dr. Flea. I'll be in with my sample on Tuesday. <laughs> we're here now at Dunley's Wholesale Silver Bridge, where we're going to try and sneak in and get the book mm -hmm. fast for Caroline. Very classy lady. I... We found the book fast here, give me a hand! Hold on. Come on, Regina, will you jump in before Rory comes? Hurry up, Regina! Oh, Regina, quick, quick! Woohoo! Oh, Shaney. Right, we're here. We've got the book fast now for Caroline. Yeah. And Casey's and Garvey's are cooking for everyone tonight and come down with me. Hot noodles got for Fiona. We're done. We're done. We're going to rub this yolk and make like a banana and split. Back to you, Jarlett. Have a good night, everyone. Let's go. Yeah.